Good morning. Happy Saturday. Our themes for this morning's devotion is How do we get past our failures? Our focus verse is taken from Proverbs 24 verses 16 and it reads, For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. When we read the words in the Bible, we can acknowledge that there are many great men of God who fail. Likewise, we are no exception. King David committed adultery. Paul persecuted Christian. Elijah the great prophet complained. And Peter denied Jesus. And the list goes on. In spite of their failures, they all repented got up and start afresh. We are no exception. We can follow their examples and start over again. Failure is not the end, but it can be a lesson and the beginning to step into new things with new experience. Let us pray. Almighty Father and our God, I thank you this morning for your God life. I thank you for your children and we thank you mighty God that we have hope in you this morning to know that mighty God in spite of our shortcomings God in spite of our failures God you are faithful and you are just your word declares mighty God that you are faithful and just to forgive us God if we confess of our sins mighty God many of us don't get it right at the first time but let us learn that it's okay to start over. It's okay to begin again. Lord, help us to be reminded, God, that when we start over, we're not starting, oh God, from scratch, but we're starting over with experiences. So, Father, each and every one of us lives are orchestrated different, God. You detail every chapter of our life, oh God, the way, oh God, you want it to. And so, Father God, help us not to beat up ourselves, Father, or to see ourselves as less mighty God, but to use every failure in our lives, every shortcoming, as a lesson to propel us further. This morning, mighty God, I pray that the confidence that you have, God, that, Lord, you put that confidence in us, God, that, Lord, you strengthen our weakness, mighty God, your word declares in Corinthians, Heavenly Father, that your strength is perfected in our weaknesses. And so, Father, I believe this morning that if we put you at the forefront and if we, oh God, trust and believe in you without doubting God, having unwavering faith, mighty God, we can overcome any obstacles. So, Father, this morning I'm grateful. Lord, you give us mercy every day, God. And with that mercy, God, comes home. And so, Father, let us use what you have given to us, mighty God, to use it as a stepping stone, to walk into something new, to walk into something fresh. Lord, I thank you this morning for your beautiful woman of God. And I thank you for each and every one of us. And I give you glory, knowing that, Father, you have heard our prayers, and you know the desires of our heart. And I thank you that you are God and that you hear and answer our prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.